guys, so I just got done filming. This is my setup <laughs> at the moment. Um, yeah, but I thought I would pop on here, kind of update you about what's been going on this week. It's Thursday. Um, Tuesday, Carly and I decided to go to the movies. We went to Fresh Market beforehand, got some snacks, she got some wine. Um, so we saw A Star Is Born and it was really good. It definitely made me appreciate Lady Gaga's talent. I don't really listen to her as an artist, but her voice is beautiful. And Bradley Cooper is Bradley Cooper. I mean, like, I just don't even think I need to explain myself with that. So it was a good movie overall. Carly and I had a fun day. And then yesterday I shot, I have my hand on my knee because y'all are heavy. Um, yesterday I shot with a local boutique and the clothes are so cute. Like. So cute. It was one of those um, experiences trying on them that I was like, wow, I actually like everything, like would recommend this company to everyone. Quality was great, price is right. So I will have the handle here. Um, it's shop the indigo closet or shop indigo closet. It'll be right here. is still healing. I've been putting bio oil on it and I'm also eating some spaghetti squash. I do have some um, fake meat in there. I think occasionally if you want to eat fake meat, it's fine. Life goes on. Um, but anyways, I wanted to answer some questions about modeling because people ask me how I got in this industry. Um, I had my first like set of professional photos taken when I was like 12, went on a few castings, um, but kind of didn't really pursue it that much. Um, and then as I was about 17, I started getting back into it um, and kind of just started networking. Um, a lot of the jobs that I get are from the same people, the same directors, um, the same photographers, things like that. Um, it's a lot easier sometimes to just go through people directly rather than booking through an agency because agencies take out fees. So I get paid more. The client doesn't have to pay more. It just works out better that way. So I would definitely say start networking. I would use Instagram as a tool. Definitely do not be um, naive on how many opportunities Instagram can bring. Um, if you have a nice profile, if your pictures are high quality, um, if you are presenting yourself in a you know presentful way, um, clients sometimes go through Instagram to book. Um, that's how I actually got that job with the boutique. You know, taking photos in the mirror. Um, the shop indigo. Oh my gosh, I sat on my floor pillow and my black leggings are no longer black. They have so much hair on them. But yeah, so definitely make sure your Instagram is up to par. Make sure your contact information is in your bio, whether it be your email or maybe like your LinkedIn or something just so someone can get in touch with you. And then another thing is there are so many websites. You guys know I mentioned backstage before. Um, there's casting networks and all of these um, Websites have jobs and if they fit your criteria, you'll get emails about them. Sometimes my emails are so spammed um, with just castings and things like that. Half of them I don't even end up going to. Um, but yeah, I would just say put yourself out there. Never um, you know, deny your resources. We have Google so you can look up local talent agencies. A lot of them have open castings during the week that you could stop in and meet with the agent and see if you're, you're what they're looking for. Um, and I'm sure that they will be because you know, um, Luckily enough, the industry has changed a lot. It's a lot more diverse. Much more body types are still welcome. I think there is a lot of criticism still in this industry, um, but I definitely think that it has improved and will probably continue to improve. So definitely pursue it if it's something you wanna do. Um, it's not something I do full time, but I do it when I can, and I really enjoy it. It's pretty easy, pretty quick, and it pays well, so right up my alley. Hi guys, I think I'm going to finish the vlog here. I had to come to my beautiful lighting area and 
close this vlog out. It is Sunday. I'm getting ready to go to brunch with my mom, my aunt, my uncle, my brother. Um, we are going to go to Atlantic Avenue and probably go to Park Tavern. I think that is the move. Although we're going a little bit late. It's like almost noon. So hmm, we'll see how the wait is. I've had a banana so far and I'm pretty hungry. Um, figured I would show you my outfit of the day. My necklaces are all messed up. This is that diamond that my aunt put on a necklace for me. This pendant is from forever. I have on a jumpsuit that's Carly's. It's from Planet Blue. Shoes are from Target and my bag is from forever. That's kind of like, oh, nice, nice lighting we have moved over to. That's like kind of my tip is I like to not really invest too much money into shoes and purses because I don't know, I get bored of them. This is the purse from forever, but that also means they break because last weekend when I had that party, I was wearing a high heel from Target and it broke in half, literally. So I was at the bar like standing like a flamingo, um, trying to balance myself up. But anyways, I hope I got some good footage. I really don't even know what I've vlogged for you guys this week, but I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Um, let me know what you guys would like to see in upcoming vlogs. And until my next one, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Mwah.